What's up, Internet? Advantageous here, back with another post-commentary Wi-Fi battle. Or should I say Wi-Fi battles, because uh, today's episode is a double feature from my uh, BGC team that I brought uh, for the International Challenge in March. It was just a fun little team that I wanted to bring. I didn't want to bring the meta. You know, that that's kind of boring. You know, especially looking at the top eight teams that finished in this, um, like, this challenge. Like, oh, like... It's a, it's a problem. But anyways, I wanted to show off my cool team. Uh, so I'll get this battle started. Uh, the idea with this team was to bring dual speed kind of manipulation. I brought a Tailwind... Uh, what is it? Whimsicott. Tailwind Whimsicott. And a Trick Room Cresselia. So it, it actually worked both times. I was able to outspeed. Like, I had enough speed on everything to be able to outspeed when I got double speed and then Trick Room because I was slower than everything else. So on this first turn, I'm you know, I'm seeing a Dragon and an Ice move coming my way. So I protect with Giratina, and unfortunately, that did not work out because he super fangs the Cresselia, and that puts him in range to be taken out by a Water Spout. And Crest, as bulky as it is, just ain't living that. Uh, so I send in my own Kyogre. Because, of course, you know, it, it has Thunder. It's it's a standard set. You know, uh, Origin Pulse, Ice Beam, Thunder, and Protect. So nothing nothing amazing. Uh, so on this turn, um, the Noivern goes for Tailwind. Um, which doesn't really matter. Because uh, my Kyogre actually has uh, zero speed IVs. Uh, so, the Water Spout, though, like, that does a lot. Like, even though that's Rain Boosted, Kyogre has an amazing special defense. Uh, so I get to Dragon Claw that Noivern, but unfortunately it's Sashed. So I wasn't really expecting that, but I should have been. Uh, so I Thunder the Kyogre. So that's a that's a hell of a lot of damage. Um, and then I Protect here because now, like, he's not going to go for Water Spout again. He's going to Ice Beam me. Um, uh, and then he actually Dracos my Kyogre. And I'm like, what? And then it goes for Water Spout. And I'm just thinking, like, neither of those would have taken me out. Because Noivern is likely a little bulkier. Probably just max speed. Uh, so I go for Origin Pulse. It misses the Kyogre. I don't know if it would have taken it out, but got rid of the Noivern. So that annoying thing's out of here. Uh, so he brings in his Primal Groudon. Uh, it's not really going to help his Kyogre any, but... That's fine. I'm not too scared of this thing. Like like I said, Giratina... Oh, I, I didn't actually say it yet, but Giratina is actually uh, my Primal Grout on counter because it can't actually touch Giratina with anything. It's immune... It's immune to its, you know, ground moves, and it resists its fire moves. If it wants to bring, like, Thunder Punch, it resists that too. Uh, so... Here, he goes for the Ice Beam, like, on the Kyogre slot. And that, that kind of hurts my Gyarados, but that's weird. And then Groudon goes for his Smackdown, which is, which is a good tech. I'll, I'll give him credit for that. But um, normally you'd want to run Smackdown on, like, a, a fast support. Then you take one Pokemon, you smack it down, and then you hit it with a heavy ground attack. And you just cripple it. So... Using Smackdown on the ground user is probably not as good of an idea. Uh, so on this one, I'm not predicting... I'm like, I need to go and get my attack set up. Gyarados has like an incredible attack stat. Or Mega Gyarados, I should say. So I protect, I, I protect against the, um, the fake out here. He gets the press his plates off, but Giratina is like pretty bulky and a max HP. So I live that, and I go for the Shadow Force. This thing... Hits like a truck. Oh man. Shadow Force from a Giratina Origin. It's like you can protect all you want. It hits through protect. So I Earthquake here with uh, Gyarados because I know I can't hit that uh, Groudon just yet. But I know I've got Kyogre in the back. So I can just bring him out. Uh, he goes for Precip Precipice Blades on my Mega Gyarados and... Like, Gyarados is not that bulky, but it takes it pretty nicely. And I go for Shadow Force 
on the little dance in Mexican, and yeah, that's a one shot. Shadow Force, oh my god, it it one shots almost anything. Like if it's a non legendary, it, it's going down. So I switch out Primal Kyogre, go out with style, sort of uh, you know, back to my cast form days, and I waterfall the ground on in. That's game set and match. So I hope you enjoyed this first battle, and uh, I'll be bringing you the second one shortly. Alright, and we're back with our second VGC battle. Uh, this time I actually brought the Winsicott. Uh, so, it unfortunately it doesn't get to do too much in this battle, but, um... Well, I'll tell you more about the set as we go. Just what how useful it was. Just because it was meant to just counter a lot of the meta. Uh, so, I actually changed my lead up here. Normally I would lead with Winsicott, um... Giratina, but I changed it up. Brought in Gyarados. Um, yeah, and unfortunately I see the... This thing. This blue whale Kyogre come in and, yeah. Thunderbolt is just screaming my name. Or the thunder. It's just screaming my name. Whatever electric attack. Gyarados is not very bulky. It's got a good attack stat, but, yeah, not very good. Not very bulky. So, I'm just gonna protect him. I'm gonna get the Mega off. Um, as I get, uh, faked out. I think it was expecting to get faked out on my Gyarados, because that's the bigger threat. Uh, but he does actually pull out the Thunderbolt, which is weird. I mean, there's so few situations where I actually would want Thunderbolt over Thunder. Thunder's just so much more powerful. And when you're in the rain, it's, like, I just find, like, if I don't have the rain with me, it's because Groudon's there, and I'm probably not going to be using it anyways. So I try to Encore... That uh, dancing Mexican guy. So this is two battles, and both had uh, both had him in it. Can't remember his name off the top of my head. Uh, so I go for the tailwind on Winsica. So I tried to encore the dancing Mexican into uh, fake out. So that's helpful. So Giratina actually pulls out the uh, icy wind tech, which is which is pretty good. I can respect that. But again, you know, it's the same with having Smackdown on Primal Groudon. It's just, you don't want to give, why would you give a support move to, like, one of the biggest monsters? This doesn't really make sense to me, so. So the Dialga here is, it's a problem. It's only got two weaknesses, so I I really have to take it out. It's, I mean, it's just bulky. Uh, so on this turn, I got the Tailwind up so I can get my Shadow Force off before anybody else, so I just vanish. And everybody's gone as I protect with Gyarados to get that pretty much guaranteed Shadow Force off. Um, I Earthquake here just to get damage on both opponents. Uh, and then I Shadow Force the Kyogre and buh by HP bar. <laughs> like that thing, that thing just dropped. So like that's, that's just so good to see. But Kyogre's defenses are n not anywhere near as good as its special defense. Uh, so, it actually, so the Dialga actually pulls out the Metal Burst tech, which is pretty cool. I'm, like, I can respect that. Uh, so, my wall goes here for the, in, uh, brings in Intimidates Me. Uh, I don't really have a whole lot of options at this point. I've got Kyogre in the back, but I kind of want to save it. Uh, so, my is going to Sucker Punch me. That's going to hurt. Giratina is pretty bulky, but look at how much damage that does. Oh, my God. Uh, so I get the Earthquake off. That's another thing about Giratina is having Levitate. Um, is nice, but unfortunately Gyarados does have Mold Breaker. <laughs> and it ignores my Levitate, and I get... Um, I eat the Earthquake anyways, but I'm bulky. So this Dialga gets down to the red. Um, doesn't have a Citrus Berry anymore. Uh, he's going to finish me off with Flash Cannon. So at this point, I'm down 3-2. Uh, but... I'm I'm feeling good. I got I got a full health Kyogre sitting here in the back. Now it comes out. So I'm feeling pretty good. I, I know it's got the dancing guy in the back, but Dialga's almost toast and that Mawile isn't too scary. So uh, he makes a pretty predictable play uh, going for the sucker punch on my Giratina, so I just I just protect. Just to make sure that I'm not gonna get taken out. Because that yeah, that would have taken me right out. So, Giratina goes for Draco on me. 
And I'm just like, oh boy, how much is this going to do? And it does nothing. <laughs> so that's definitely a bulky Giratina. I'm guessing max HP, max special defense with the Citrus Berry. Uh, and I go for Origin Pulse, and yeah, you guys are not living that. It's a rain-boosted Origin Pulse. Uh, so, now, I'm, and just like that, it's 2-1 uh, in my favor. So, outcome. So, this play was really big. I almost protected with Kyogre. Almost protected with him. But I decided to just go for the all-out attack, so that way it's like, you can take out either one, but either way I'm getting an attack off. So, now it's just me against this cute little dancing guy. Uh, so I'm just going for the thunder. Um, that's gonna be, that's gonna do the most damage. Because obviously it resists my water move. Uh, so I actually get a really, really lucky paralysis on that thunder. I hit it too, so it's a three hit KO. He pulls out the Giga Drain. Now, this next turn, he's gonna take me out. So I'm like praying for the paralysis, praying for the paralysis. Because I know I need two more of these, or crit. If I crit here, or get a paralysis, I win. I don't get a crit, but he gets paralyzed, and then he forfeits. So, credible luck for me, uh, but I'll take it, you know? This, this, term, but this tournament was a lot of fun, you know? If I lost, I, I wasn't too disappointed. I didn't play that many battles, but it wasn't like the Cano Classic. That one, I came to win. I wanted to play good, and this one was just, I made a fun team. I didn't really have all the components that I needed to make, like, a really competitive VDC team, so I just decided to make one that was fun. Kind of like my cast form team. I had so much fun playing with that team, and that's what Pokemon's all about. I want to have fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, these two battles, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!